Right, I'm not lying. I'm a little bit nervous for this one. I haven't played golf in just over a month, nearly five weeks. It wasn't great, was it? The Garmin tells me 155 yards that went. <laughs> that was a five iron. Birdie. Yeah, boy. Right, I'm not lying. I'm a little bit nervous for this one. I haven't played golf in just over a month, nearly five weeks. I've had a family holiday for 10 days, back pre-season training with Wrexham, then a two-week tour of America. And finally, the season's got underway and I can get out and swing a bat. But will all of that practice over the summer have gone to waste? Or will I be able to just pick it straight back up? Is it lurking under the surface? We're about to find out, baby. Come on, we're playing the back nine here at beautiful Falden Valley. Wish me luck. Ooh. Okay, the 10th hole, we're starting on the 10th hole. It's a par five and I can't hit a driver because otherwise I'd get in the mess. So I've got to go five iron. So I hate starting a round with an iron, by the way. I don't like it. I want to get my big boy driver, but you know what? Come on, let's go. It's a very average shot to start with. <laughs> But there you go. First one in five weeks, that you know. Okay, tee shot, first shot. It was okay, a bit down the left. Um, I struck it at least, you know. I was proper nervous then, proper, proper nervous. It's all right, I, didn't, I haven't had time to get on the driving range, but we're in play, I can get it up there. That's what it's about, baby. Just finding your feet again. Just finding your feet again, come on. Okay. Um, First shot, the Garmin tells me, 155 yards that went. <laughs> that was a five iron. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's a par five, it's fine. Right, rescue club, um, I'm just gonna get it down, hopefully into the fairway. Let's go, we're cooking, baby. Shot. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Did that look nice at least? Yeah. I felt like that was about normal, to be fair. Nah. Love this club. Love this club. Come on. Ozzy, let's do a little drip check while we're at it, because this is, I think this is one of the best so far. Honestly, do you think this is one of the best so far? I think it is. So, um, Nike Jordan, um, fresh out of the packet. This arrived two days ago. I think these might be the best golf tops ever made, um, size large. Got my Nike shorts on, and look at these trainers. Look at it. The green, baby. Complements the shirt. The tan as well, just makes it all pop in. Straight down the middle. Oh, there's people over there. Right, we've got 100 yards into the pin. I've got a pitching wedge. I'm going to sort of, I'm going to, I'm going to hold it back a little bit and just do a sort of like a half swim pitching wedge. But I tell you what, it does go to show though. You don't always have to take driver off tee. I've hit a five iron, a rescue club, and I've got 100 yards left. So just a nice steady pitching wedge. Come on, nothing crazy about that really. That's not bad, you know. Oh, just at the front of the green. It looked lovely as well, didn't it? It was like all over it. Just have a quick look at these greens though as well, yeah? So we rung the guy up here at Fowden Valley yesterday. What's his name, Tomasi? Alex. Alex, right? And he said, the greens, you know, we treated them yesterday. They're not so great. They are beautiful, by the way. Look at that. Right, come on, stop messing about. Get this in the bin lid and get ourselves off to a good start. Oh. Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tapping par. It's a tapping par and we never ever complain at a tapping par. It's a heck of a start. First hole in five weeks. Par. Lego. Right, 
right quickly. Jamie, show off your new, look at how pro we are now. Pastel, Pastel House Productions, baby. You know what, roll the trailer. Roll the trailer, baby. Jay, you're the boy, you know, you get it. Jamie will never not work for us, all right? He is the dream. We love Jamie so much. You too, Luke, all right? We love you, mate. All right, coming in, uh, 11th hole, which is the second hole. It's a par three, very short par three, 125 yards, 30 yards. I've got a nine iron, I'm gonna go a steady nine iron. Oh, we're cooking, baby. See that nice little bit of backspin as well? That, did that look like a nice chill swing, yeah? It did, didn't it? Of course, management. I, no, I, do you know what I think it was? I think I was just, ni I'm just trying to be nice and calm. I think there's a lot to be said for just being nice and calm. It was just a nice strike, wasn't it? And we're birdie putting yet again. Right, I do not want to tempt fate, but that nine iron I've just hit into the green on this par three, was a dream. It felt like the most natural strike in the world. And it felt like I knew what I was doing with it as well. Just nice and calm, nice and composed. I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put it out there. I think we can shoot low today. I think we can shoot nice and low today. Birdie putting again, come on the boys. Oh, so weak, so limp as well, weren't it? That was a scaredy putt, you know, because it was downhill a bit. I was scared of that. It was a confident putt, weren't it? It was a confident par putt, and we are level par for two holes. Are we playing green in regulation? Nearly green in regulation. I'll take it either way. Level par, come on. Now it was not the prettiest of strikes, I will not lie. But you know what, I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't think it's the end of the world. We're in the trees on the left. Oh, I love golf so much. I do, I love it so much. The sun's shining. It's like 20 degrees already. It's 9.30 in the morning. Oh, I love golf. Best sport in the world. Don't even dare try and question it. It's the best sport in the world, simple. Oh no. Um, yeah, we are right in the trees and I'm going to have to just take my medicine, chip it out there and then try and get up and down. You could just come it out here and draw it round, Ben, do a low draw. No. I'm going to have to, if I was to low draw it, I'd have to go on a right angle and I'm not that guy. So I'm going to get my seven iron, I'm just going to get it out there and then it's just going to be a nice little pitch into the green. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Sensible soccer. Not the end of the world. Have I ever told you before that my short game is exemplary, by the way? It's really not. It's really not. All right, 110 yards. Um, it's a pitching wedge. It's like a steady pitching wedge. Did he? Oh, just off the back a bit too much, weren't it? I thought I half swung that as well. I didn't half swing it. In hindsight, I probably should have just played that a lot softer. I had a lot of green to work with. I've overshot it and now this is a tough, if I'm to get this up and down, this is a tough ask as well. That's not bad. Oh, that's really nice. I'm really happy with that. Really, that was Seve hands, weren't it? Yeah. It was Seve hands. It was heavy hands, Jay. In fairness, it was before his time. <laughs> Come on, it's confident putting from the Fozzy. Up the Fozcast.
Okay, 13th hole, par four, it's like a 420 yarder. It's stroke index, stroke index two, this is, you know, it's because it goes uphill at the end. Um, but it does seem a lot longer than like 420, I won't lie to you. Um, let's get this driver popping, baby. In the words of DJ Khaled. Straight down the middle. That was a lovely little low zing that was, weren't it? That felt incredible, by the way. I didn't even really try and hit that then. And it just went zingo. That's what we're talking about. There's no better feeling in golf. I don't care what you say. You can put one in from 200 yards out, 150 yards out. You get that driver popping and it goes 250 bones down the middle like that just did. Best feeling in golf. Flirted with the uh, tree. Nah, I was never in doubt. Low on the way never in danger, never in doubt. It was just a nice low zingo. <laughs> Come on, baby. I'll keep them creps clean, haven't we? Right, 150 yards um, to the middle of the green, stuck eight iron. Um, come on then, baby. Let's get it dancing. Stroke index two, come on. I'll tell you what, that's a nice shot. That's a lovely shot, by the way. Once again, right? Once again, did that look like a lovely shot? Like that felt so pure. It looked great. It did look great, didn't it? It looked great. I'm surprising myself here. I'm only saying, I'm not like bigging myself up here. I'm just surprised by myself. When you ain't played in so long and then you hit it like that, I'm thinking, I might secretly just be a player or something. Do you want to play back and watch it? <laughs> I do. That, watch it back on. Do you see it just go straight down the middle though? Yeah. DJ Khaled all day long, baby. That was a lovely shot, wasn't it? I'm over the moon. Um, right, realistic birdie putt now. Come on. Come on. Get this back to level par. What? I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Not I've got. Not got. <laughs> oh, that's criminal. I had the line as well. Right. It's fine. Oh man, a birdie would have been nice there. Right, let's go. 14th hole, it is a par three. Um, it's about 130 yards to the pin, I'm saying. So I'm gonna hit a nine iron. Get this on the green. It's a sneaky little hole this is, you know, because if you go left, you're down the bank. Right, you're dead. So you just gotta see green. Nothing but green, baby. It's not bad. Wow, that took some sort of a kick to the right. I think it's just short. I think it's just short and to the right, but again, not a bad strike though. Um, can I just give a big shout out to the lovely people at TaylorMade, please? When we were out in the USA with Wrexham, um, we had a day off, we got given a day off and they took us to the kingdom, the TaylorMade kingdom in San Diego. Honestly, this place, wow, if you like your golf, this is about as good as it gets. It's like where all the pros go to practice. Tiger just bowls up apparently whenever he wants with his son, just has a nice little time. Treated us to like all sorts. Like I know it's about golf, but they had this burger van on site. Seriously, this burger was one of the best burgers I think I've ever had in my life. We were lavering balls all day long. They even hooked us up with a few free clubs as well. <sighs> San Diego was wicked by the way. I want to live out there. It's nice and warm all the time. Birdie. I'll tell you what, it's another, yet another birdie putt, right? I know it's off the green, but still I count that as a birdie putt. But with this morning dew, just get it there, Fozzie, okay? Just get it there. Come on. Then. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a really good putt. It's a really good putt, isn't it? See the curl on the end, by the way? I did not account for that. Another tap in par. It's another tappy par. I think if you're going most of the round saying it's another tap in par, it's a sign that you're playing wow, Jay. Yep. I think that's what it means. Yep. Listen, I know I haven't played golf in a month, yeah, but I have watched I think I've completed YouTube golf, right? I have watched every single tutorial, every single everything, right? Um, 
even when we were out in San Diego, Trotty, Trotty Golf, by the way, shout out to my boy Trotty Golf, was showing me a few things and and it's just about sort of like, when you take it back, it's, I normally just go straight back like that, but you've got to, it's push away, and then it's sort of push out. Yeah, <laughs> it's something like that. <laughs> right, anyway, it's the break the drone challenge. Um, Jamie, is that drone in place? I won't lie, I just want to get this down the middle. I'm one over par for five holes, and I want it to just keep going. So come on, let's go. Oh, I'll tell you what, don't go too far, right? Oh, it stopped, thankfully. <laughs> it stopped, thank. It was a nice strike, at least. A bit cutty, though. That all right. I didn't push. I pulled it, but I didn't push. It's a trotty note. Trotty, mate. You ain't got a clue. You don't even know what day it is, geez. Shave your beard as well. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, Trotty, I love you, mate. Um, by the way, when you are back in the country, can we do like a video of some sort? You can show me how to play golf. You teach me. We'll do a round of golf. You teach me how to play golf, all right? Because I've got so many things swirling through my head at the minute. But I love it. Okay, come and have a look at this, right? This is where it could all go wrong. It could all go wrong. So there's my ball. Have a look up there. You see that? see half of the ball. Can you see the pin through there? Yeah? So what I'm going to do is, I've got a four iron, right? This is probably about the hardest shot you could ever possibly hit. I'm going to get it low, straight through there, just roll it up onto the green, probably birdie putting. Jamie, what do you reckon? Chances? Yeah, I think you can do it, mate. I think I can do it. Thank you, too. Positivity, yeah? 100%. That's the world I live in. It's the world you live in. 100%. We live together if you want. Right, before I hit this absolute worldie of a shot, um, can I just give a big shout out to my boy Ken and Jewsbury Hall, by the way. Uh, played his, uh, the first game of the season for Leicester um, at the weekend, scored two goals. He was on the Fozcast a few months ago and the boy is, oh, he's just adorable. Honestly, isn't he? The nicest lad, proper lad, proper pro. You always want the best for him, so buzzing for you, mate. Um, right, watch me stick this four iron onto the green. You make this, I'll buy your lunch. Promise? It's gonna have to be that. I'm like up a hill as well. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it went through at least. Hey, we got through, okay? And we'll get up and down from there. Because my iron play is exemplary. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> right, it's about 80. Mm, 85 yards, um, I've got my 56 degree. Just get it up there and try and learn from, do you remember the previous hole where I said I've got a load of green to work with, so just don't overshoot it, Fuzzy. That will be it, that will be the one. All right, let's go. Oh, that's a good golf shot, that. That's a really good golf shot, that, isn't it? Steady. That's a really good golf shot. I'm over the moon. These irons are on fire today, these short irons. The milled grinds. Come on, baby. Right, this will be a monster par save. Oh, you haven't hit it, Ben, you absolute weapon. Leaving it short again. Oh, Fozzie. Never mind, never mind, it's a bogey, it's a bogey, it's two over through six holes, which is actually not that bad to be fair. I'm a 10 handicap, you know, I don't think that's bad. I'm buzzing, first time in a month as well. Come on. Okay, 16th hole, it is another par four, and it is a, it's a toughy this, stroke index four. Get your drive away though, wallop, and you're cooking. Right, come on, push away, no, pull away, push, yeah, that's it. 
It wasn't great, was it? That was horrible, in fact. I don't even think I looked at the ball then. It's all right, it's cool. Definitely didn't get my drive away though. It's time for another one of those four iron little scuttlers. Have a look at this. I love these shots. This is my game, ball, my trees, gap, pin. That's all I see. Gap, pin, through there, onto the green. In Bosh, order. in that order. It's 150 yards to the front of the green. Get this four iron away. I need a slight little drawer as well. And I think I've got it in the bag. I tell you what, it was a lovely little zinger as well, but just got dragged up, didn't it? Got through there at least. Gonna have to do up and down. Something that I've failed to do every time I've said, I need to get up and down. Hardcore, you know the score. Quite so good to deserve an encore. You get me? Come on then boys, let's get up and down. It's like a two tier green this, and it's at the back, so 100 yards I'm saying, and I'm gonna stick it, and I'm gonna get up and down, because that is what we do, baby. Oh, these are, honestly, my short irons today have been, I know I said it jokingly, yeah, on like the second hole, that my short irons are exemplary, but these have been really good today. Like, really, really good today. That was a, come on, get up and down. Get up and down. That was great, wasn't it? We the best! Right, come on, let's sink one. Down the hill, sort of righty-lefty. Don't leave it short. I've left it short, pathetically short. I say it every time. Don't leave it short. And you leave it short. Not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. It's another five. We are three over par. We're just about to start the 17th hole and I'm playing some good golf. If I could put a little bit better, I might be all right. And my driving's not fantastic, is it? Right, 17th hole uh, is crew shot time though, so I'm gonna hold it. Jamie Hello. and Luke, it's gonna be a drive this time, okay, yeah? Yep. We're not on a par three, so you've gotta get this as far down the middle as possible, and what is the punishment or the fine? Who loses that, you two? Uh, gotta walk to the next, <laughs> walk to the next shot. I'm all over it. You've got to walk to the next shot. Whoever doesn't hit it the furthest. Right there, they're not getting away with that. I'd say it's lunch. Walking to the next hole. Lunch. Well, We'll lunch. do lunch. Yeah, but... You, one, the loser has to buy lunch for the other. I'm a driver. I've never, I don't use drivers, so I'm well known for it. No, I'm not a pound. A pound. Right. Let's go a quid, yeah? A quid, yeah. Stop the bickering. Right, come on then, Jay. Come on, redemption. You've got a good shot. Yes. No. <laughs> Where is it? It's on the other side. On the other green, went over the tree over there. On the other green. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, that actually went quite well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the power in them thighs, just coiled up, ready to spring. He's going just there. No, oh, positive. Here. Positive. You've absolutely drilled it about yeah. 400 yards. <laughs> oh no! It was a practice swing. It was a practice swing. It was a practice swing. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's in play at least. Um, Who wins, Ben? I I'm going to have to give it to Luke, unfortunately. I've got mine higher. No. <laughs> I'm in play. I'm in play. I go over there. That's a good battle. You know what? Well fair play. You know what? You're uh, until next time. A quid, yeah? A quid. A quid. <laughs> I haven't got it on me now. I've got it in my bag. Oh. I'm yeah. sorry. He'll get it. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, lads. Yeah, if I don't go past yours, I'll give you 100 quid each. Deal? Deal. I don't know if I wanted that. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? 
oh, it's money, it's the drive of the day. It's the drive of the day. Quite, yeah. Fozzy coiled up on that bad boy. Best feeling in golf. What are you saying to that drive on 17, mate? Lovely drive. Lovely. Fozzy, that was a fantastic drive. I'm proud of you. Fozzy, that was a very good drive. Just say it, all right? I'm proud of you. Thank you. So I've just zinged that 280 yards down the middle. I have now got my rescue club. We're 220 yards to the front of the green. Get this up there, Fozzle. Absolute zinger, bitch. Oh, f <laughs> Good layup. Oh, it's so painful. Gosh darn it. It's always the way, isn't it? Zinger drive. Fuzzy. No. It's all right, we can get up and down. We'll get up and down. <laughs> that is just golf. In a nutshell, baby. Zing one down the middle. Next shot. Absolute shank the shit out of it. Oh, thank God it's a par five. I can still get birdie here, you know. Get this close. 140 yards. Stick it. Right, after that lovely little layup, I've got 150 yards left. So it's an eight iron. Reset though, baby. Absolute reset. That shot didn't even happen. It's a nice shot, that isn't it? Good reset, that you know. Bounce back ability. Who was it? Who was the guy pundit that said that once? Bounce back. Ability. Ian Dowie. Was it Ian Dowie? Ian Holloway. No, wasn't on Soccer AM. Chris Kamara. Maybe. I'm going to go for Ian Dowie. Comments the, down below. It's in the English dictionary. See, this is what I mean. This is the beauty of a part five. Even though you can shank the shit out of a shot sometimes, you still, if you get back to it, you can make par. You can make birdie. I've got a birdie putt. This is. Don't get me wrong, I'll probably leave it about a metre short, but still. Don't leave this one short. I'm not going to leave it short. But do you know what? Downhill puts, yeah? They just scare me. They do. Downhill puts scare the life out of me. Right, come on. Nice and positive. Steady! Stop, 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 stop! I gave it a go at least, didn't I? If you leave it short, it will never go in, yeah? It's the rule you have to sort of live by a little bit. If you leave it short, it will never go in. You should never miss putts like that, really. What, this? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Back up the hill, right to lefty. Never miss putts like that. You've been impressed with those sort of putts today, haven't you? I haven't missed one of them today. Par. It's a good par. It's a steady par. On to 18, baby. Three over par, you know. I'm over the, I'm, I nearly said over the moon. I'm really, really happy. I'm really happy. Hole 18 here at Falden Valley, right? It's a naughty little hole. It's a par four, but it's very, very short. It's 200, and, we're playing off the yellows. It's about 220 to the front of the green. However, it is littered with danger. There's a pond at the front, dead on the left, dead at the back, out of bounds on the right. Sensible soccer is a seven iron down the middle. However, we ain't no <laughs> You're gonna have to beat that out because I'm not allowed to say that word. Um, so I'm gonna get my mini burner and I am going to see nothing but net. <laughs> slow mo, how good is that by the way? Wish me luck. Oh. Just come and have a look. Look at it, look at the like, what's it called, carbon fiber. Look at it, I don't know if your camera can pick it up. Look at how it glistens in the sun. So pretty. He's so pretty like me on my pedal bike, me on my low. Skirt. Skirt. <laughs> me on my Echo Whites. They say, Nikki, don't stop. You the bestest. We just be coming off the top. <laughs> oh, you're a dickhead, Jack. What up? Right, come on, I'm frigging me. I'm scared. I'm so scared. 
Tell you what, it's not a bad strike, is it? It's a lovely strike, you know. I do love this club. So pretty. And I've saved the same tee all the way around, not broke one of them. I think that's a sign of good ball striking. Peter Finch, is that what it is, yeah? Yeah. It is, I'm sure of it. Right, here we go then. See, I was happy with that. It's a nice little shot. We've got a realistic chance to get a shot back here. So, like I said, it's par four. Stick this one close. And get a little birdie to finish the round off. Come on. Steady, steady. Yeah, I'm taking that all day long. All day long. Come on, let's get one back. Just tap it in. There's nothing but a hole there. That's all there is to it. Yeah, boy, birdie to finish. Do you know what? First round in five weeks, two over par for the back nine here at Fowden Valley. Beautiful Fowden Valley, by the way. Thank you for having us, everybody. Um, even in the pomp of my like six months ago playing when I was playing all the time, I would have been over the moon with that. I hit some lovely shots today. My driving could have been a bit better, but I think overall, absolutely buzzing. Thankfully, my golf has not deserted me, and I'll see you all soon. Two over par, you know. Up the Foscast.